This one, I don't think we need to change shape either because it is Orlando City FC and it's basically everybody that they've played with uh, the last two years because did they have any good players after that or before that? Uh, Joe Bendik can go, obviously. Because Joe knows. Yeah. Does Joe know? Does Joe? Does he? <laughs> Were you not here for this? No, yeah. I know the Joe knows thing. Okay. Uh, uh, Pedro Gaia saying goal. Yeah. It's, I thought uh, you were serious when you put Joe in there. Stop. I mean, no disrespect to Joe. He he did a he he, he did a he, valiant he, job for the back yeah. put in front of him. He did he did the best he possibly could. <laughs> he really did. Um, who do you have at right back? Who do I have at right back? Juan. It's Juan. I was testing you. Uh, is it failed? It's Juan. Yeah, I think so. It's like Brazil. Juan. Okay, Juan. Juan. That's why I have it right back. Um, I agree. I'm just checking something because I feel like there was another right back that I was thinking of might have made it there. Uh, Scott Sutter, Kyle Smith, Rafael Ramos. I remember Rafael Ramos. Wait, hold there. on a second. Hold on a second. I we need to, we almost need to do another episode of I didn't know this guy played there. Richie Larea. Yeah, what? <laughs> Richie Larea <laughs> played for Orlando. Games. When did that happen? I don't believe it. You can't tell me that happened. You can't Professionalism. Show me. We are you totally on topic. You can't, you can't tell me that actually happened. He got drafted in 2016. They let him go. <laughs> he bounced around Orlando City and Orlando City B. Oh, yikes. Orlando, man. Come on. Orlando, not having Orlando in the mud. <laughs> I think they played him as a right mid. That's why. Mm -hmm. And uh, he didn't really fit into there because they had no attacking talent at all. So that didn't work. Anyways, in the middle, I've got uh, Jansen and Antonio Carlos. Yep. I said, I I, I, again, Orlando was so bad for so long. I really, there's a tough, uh, a tough bite here. I put Kamal Miller at left back. Uh, I wasn't I... quite. I put Matinho, but I'm fine with Kamal Miller. Now, tell me why Matinho, just out of curiosity. I feel like, so Matinho, I feel like, would be the more attacking option, and then I feel like Miller would be the defensive option. And I think I went with Matinho just strictly because he's been the guy at their left-back spot while they've been better, while the team in general has been better. Okay. Look but that's why, I mean, that's not a great argument. So that's why I'm open to having Kamal Miller there. Because I also know you really like Kamal Miller. Yeah, Kamal Miller is definitely the defensive option. I agree with you there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just how you want to play. And if I've got Juan, who's bombing up the wing all the time, and I've got a player like Krishna Gita, who's a walking red card, um, I'm going to want somebody who's going to hold that back line. And he can go forward, too. He's not like an awful attacking guy. He's just mm -hmm. definitely – and he can he can act as a center back if needed. Um, see, this is where we need Adam to be the, the decider. Uh, I'm okay with Kamal Miller. All right, we'll keep Kamal Miller then. Um, I, I am a big fan of Kamal Miller. I'm also not a fan of Matinho. Just throwing that out there. I don't blame you, but that's probably that's a, their only left back option. I feel like right now. Yeah, that's probably a a, a, a not so strong con uh, argument there. But I just never have been a fan. I don't like the way he plays. He was the number one pick, and I'm just I've never been like, wow, that guy's so good. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, I hear you. We have a CDM spot. Uh, so my two mids, I went with Mendez and Iguita. Iguita. You went with uh, Mendez, okay. <clears throat> I went with um, Iguita and Odi Rossell, um, mainly yeah, because I think of, I remember us talking about this one. Yeah, ma mainly Rossell's um, experience with SKC as well. I think he just knows the league. Excuse me, knows the league a little bit better. Uh, and I and I feel like he's a little bit more versatile. I think uh, 
Mendez is just a strict, I'm going to hit you as hard as I can, and Russell can actually stay on the ball and, and move it a little bit better. Um, again, personal. Also, Men- Mendez was born five days after I was, so <laughs> that's really cool. I like that. Um, but, yeah, that's just me. Um, I'm okay. I, you gave me Miller. I'll give you Mendez if you want. If you asked me to make an argument for Mendez, I couldn't do it. I did. <laughs> so then, then we'll keep Russell. I think I think he's just a little bit more versatile and better on the ball than uh, Mendez is. Granted, I haven't watched all of what Mendez has done, but I do remember Russell being a little bit better. Center attacking mid, who you got? Uh, yeah. Who you got? I said Kaka. Oh, I thought you said ah. Uh. Oh no, maybe yeah, I cut out. You might have skipped out on the on the uh, yeah. The <laughs> I heard, uh. It was just was silence. Like, we were just staring at each other. <laughs> I was like, uh, um, what? <laughs> yes, no, no, no. Uh, obviously. Kaka. Regardless of what he did in bringing this team through the playoffs or whatever, if you didn't put Kaka on this list, you're probably not making a good choice. Um, well, my you could front go with Sasha Clash. You could, but you could, right? Like, you could, but you'd be really wrong to do it. It'd be a really bad decision to do that. You could try. You could definitely try. I'm not a- saying... Adam might have tried. Adam definitely probably would have tried. <laughs> he would have put his lock on the goal if he had to. Um, sure. Which is... I almost want to record this without <laughs> without him here for LA because I know he's going to do something like that. Um, my front three are... Nani Mueller and Laren. Mm-hmm. Um, just I think they've been the best three attackers the team's seen. Uh, and I really didn't want to put Don Dwyer here. Like it just felt wrong to put Don Dwyer on that list. Well, we were when we were um, prepping this, we were really close to putting Don Dwyer because no, no, you were really close to putting Don Dwyer. No, you had Don Dwyer, and then I checked the left because they have Laren list, they have listed Laren as, as a left wing. wing. Yeah, you're right. And you're I right. found him in there. And I was like, oh, wait, how did we forget about him? So so we forgot about him because once he once he got shipped off to Turkey after refusing to play, everybody blackballed him in, in MLS folklore and nobody ever wanted to talk about him again. But uh, the other thing is we almost put Daryl DK here. Yeah. That is the other one is we almost put Daryl DK here, which – I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> I don't think I would have had a problem with that either. Um, but here we are. So I think Laren's a better choice. If you look at it, what's he got? Um, you know, what's really funny is he doesn't come up right. So he doesn't come up in, in center forward, which is really weird. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I know he's, I know he's listed as a left wing. I don't remember him ever playing left wing for this team. No, me neither. But he is their leading goal scorer and he is almost 20 goals ahead of, Kaka, he's 19 goals ahead of Kaka, and he's 20 goals ahead of Nani. So that guy has a goal record that is not even going to be touched for a while. You know Chris Mueller's played 100 games, too? That doesn't surprise me. I think if Chris Mueller stayed around his whole career in Orlando, he could break Laren's goal scoring. Sure, sure. You know what else? Yeah, you know, you know, you know why we can't figure it out. It's because he never did play on the left wing for Orlando. I just looked it up. He must he be playing. Besiktas. He must be playing left wing on every other team. Yeah, for Besiktas, he must be. Let me see. Uh, no, Besiktas is mostly playing a, a striker, so maybe it was before this. What was before Orlando? There was nothing before Orlando. It was Zolte Fargan. Oh, oh, okay. All positions, left wing. You know what? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand this. He played striker for them, too. He played 22 times for Besiktas at left wing in the Super League in 2020, 2021. Maybe he's played mostly at striker. Yeah. No, like I said, he's a striker. There's no question. I don't know why yeah, they haven't listed it at left wing. You draw but, a transfer market. Yeah, they're, they're lost here. 